Aloha, it's Kyle from Color Expression, back with another swatch and review. Today we're checking out the Surface Crush Collection from Cirque Colors, which was a recent release inspired by the beauty and culture of Hawaii. These are six new shimmers with some hollow, and alongside them, we also got some dried flowers and some little iridescent bubble charms, so we'll check both of those out before the swatches. This is a permanent collection that's available now, so I will link the Cirque Colors website down below if you want to check any of these out. I'll also link their international stockist page down there, and they also just launched a new affiliate program, so you can now use my code COLOR10 on CirqueColors.com and get 10% off your next order. Cirque is an independent nail polish brand based out of Brooklyn, New York, and their formulas are non-toxic, 10-free, vegan, and cruelty-free. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and subscribe if you haven't already so you're always staying up to date on the newest Sir Colors and nail polish content, but I think it's time we swim on over to these swatches. First up, for the dried flowers, you can see this really nice divider sort of packaging that we're getting. It separates them all out. You can grab each little thing you want individually, so I loved that about this, and I also loved the variety. We're getting a bunch of different colors, a lot of sizes, shapes, a bunch of different stuff in here, so a lot of fun things to play around with. And then these little charms, you can see they're sort of iridescent little half circles, and then they have colored backs on some of them, so you get that pop of color or you get that sort of iridescence and you can place those on your manicure and yeah have like a little 3d effect so i'm excited to play with these our first shade is pele and this will set the stage for this whole collection where we're going to get a jelly base a colored shimmer pigment and then the scattered hollow glitter that cirque does so so well so for this shade in particular we have a sort of pinky red but definitely more so pink leaning base color and then in there we have a shimmer that from this angle is almost a little bit blue it's sort of this cool toned color and then as that one shifts through at the more extreme angle we're going to get a little bit of pinks some purple in there it's like a really fun shift of color in here and i feel like it blended into the base really well so i loved that about this one that like in that sort of harsh light you get that bright blue shimmer and then at the more extreme angle you're getting like a little hint of purple so it's a nice it's a really nice little combination of colors that i'm definitely a fan of up next is bird of paradise and i'd actually say this one is a little bit less of a full-on jelly base and almost leans slightly crelly ish you can see it's this sort of orangey barely coral but there is like a touch of coral color in there and then the shimmer in here is a little bit finer than the last one we saw and this one you can see is sort of golden from this angle here almost like a hint of green i'm sorry that every color i'm saying i'm saying and then with a hint of this but there's so much going on in this shade there's so much dimension and then obviously there's that hollow glitter but the pigment in here does have a color shift and it almost gets sort of pinky and orange ish at that sort of extreme angle so it almost blends right into the base you can see we get this full-on corally orange manicure but you still get that glitter of a shimmer so it's a really cool effect and if this is your sort of color definitely one to add to your collection up next we have shaka and this one is a yellow base i'd say more jellyish you can see as it's going on it definitely has that really transparent feel you can see on the stem of the brush too it's like it's very see-through so we are actually going to build this one up in three coats which I only felt like two out of this whole collection really needed those three coats, but this one, we are going to do that. You can see that shimmer pigment in here. It's a little bit hard to see right now, but when you do catch it in that head-on light, it's like this really bright, almost pink magenta color. It's a really nice pop of contrasting color. And then when this one shifts through, you almost get some orange, some bronze, and then at the most extreme angle, this one actually goes sort of golden. So like the last one, the shimmer almost disappears at that extreme angle, but you still get that feel of a like a glittery pigment. And then, of course, you can see that scattered hollow glitter throughout this one, too. So a bunch of really great things. There's almost like a little bit of green in that sort of shimmer at the extreme angle. I don't know. 
I really like the pigment in this one, but overall, if you like yellows, obviously another one to consider. Up next is Mermaid Grotto, and I feel like Mermaid's Vacation Summer is just so on the mind right now, so if you like green polishes, this is going to be right up your alley. I totally love what we're getting in this shade, so you can see that really nice sort of soft green base, but then in there we have that shimmer pigment, and at this head-on angle it is sort of blue, and then that will shift over through to purple to pink, almost like a touch, just a hinty, hinty touch of gold at the most extreme angle. So a super cool shift of color in this shade. And then of course the scattered hollow. I I love that. This one feels very scaly, very fishy, like super mermaid, obviously, hence the name, but they totally hit the nail on the head with this one. I feel like it's such a great summer color. It's such a nice mix of pigments, and I am totally a fan. Up next is Wipeout. This one is a blue, very jelly base you can see on this application, and I will say this is the other one that we built up with three coats in the video, but honestly, I have no issue with that. I feel like with a shade like this where it is sort of a really sheer base. I don't mind doing a third coat. I feel like that adds more depth, but it also has the benefit of letting a lot of that pigment that you're building up show through. So just a lot of great things going on in here. And the pigment itself is, I think, green, but looks sort of teal through the base and the combo of color. It's just oh, so gorgeous. But we also get a shift over to a purple to a pink in there it's like such a fun shift and i feel like paired with the blue base of course those colors just look great we have all that hollow glitter also looking so good especially with that third coat you just get that much more glitter put on the nail so super sparkly super shifty i totally love the watery feel the shiftiness it's just oh it is top of my list <laughs> Rounding out our collection, we have Ohana, and something about this shade just really, it really strikes my Cirque Nostalgia chord. I don't know why, it it makes me think of when I first discovered them and how beautiful all their shades were. I mean, they still are, but something about this one just reminds me of, like, nostalgia. So I love this shade on a different level, but this one is a purple base, and then in there we're getting this blue shimmer pigment, and that's going to shift over to a purple to a pink. It's like such a nice range of color again in this base color, so all those colors are going to look really nice as they shift through at any angle. It's going to be such a nice pairing, and then all of that hollow glitter, of course. It's Oh, it's just so good. This whole collection is so great. I can't get over it. Cirque always nails their shimmers, but especially this collection, just something about it is a little bit extra and I'm obsessed, which is also a great segue into looking at the whole collection together. So you can see we're getting such a nice rainbow of color and sort of two different shimmer effects. Some have this larger, almost glittery look. Some have that sort of finer pearly look and I like them both. I love them both, actually. They're so gorgeous. I'm totally a fan of this whole collection. I think they did such a damn good job. Now that we have seen these new shades, I want to hear your thoughts on them, so leave a comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. Did you pick any of these up? Did you grab the whole collection? Is there any shades from this collection that you're now thinking of grabbing? Personally, I love a good shimmer formula from Cirque. It's something that they have always done super, super well. So I love that we got more. I love the added hollow in them. I love that we sort of got a rainbow. So usually with that, there's going to be at least one color for everyone. So they kind of just hit the nail on the head in a bunch of different ways with this collection. And the theming, the colors, the just the whole thing is great. So I am totally a fan of this release. Like I mentioned earlier, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and check the description for links to all the products in this video, for some discount codes, some other affiliate links, all of that good stuff. But I think that's going to be it for this one today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Aloha.